Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. Welcome to the first video of a new JavaScript series that is JS Buffer. So in this series we are going to see a different JavaScript concepts within a very short period of time. So I'll be creating a very short videos on different concepts regarding JavaScript and I'll be sharing with you guys. I hope you like all these videos and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. So let's start with the first topic over here that is arrays higher order function that is for each method. So let's see how to use a for each method instead of a for loop in JavaScript. So let me just create a variable over here. I'll just say constant numbers equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And to loop through these numbers, the method is numbers dot for each. Okay. And here you can see that this for each function will take three arguments. One that is the value, the other that is the index and the third which is the array. And this will be a callback function over here. So let's see that. Let's create the callback function for this. So this will be the for each function over here. Let's create the callback function. Let's clear the callback function and this callback function should take three arguments that is the value index and array okay value index and array and now let's print this value over here console.log value and now let's call this callback function in our for each now if we run this yeah, you can see that we are getting the values over here. So whatever the values that we have passed over here, whatever the values we have defined in our array, we are getting this value out of this first variable. Now, if you want the index, then we will get the index value as well. Let's run this again. And yeah, you can see that we are getting the index of the particular array. And if I see what is in the array over here, then you will see that we will get the entire array over here. So this will be the entire array. So these are the three parameters that are available for our callback function that we can call in our for each function. Now what we can do is we can call this particular function as a arrow function as well. So let's try that. So let me just get the entire function over here and let's add in the arrow function over here. So here instead of this, I'll just create as a arrow function over here. Let me remove this. Rather than declaring the function, I have just called as an arrow function over here. This should also return me the same values. Let me just change the value over here and let me run this example again. Yeah, you can see that we are getting the values. Now only value, the first one is mandatory. The others are optional over here. Okay. So if I just want to remove this, I can just go ahead and remove this and it should work over here. Let me run this again. And here you can see that we are getting the data. So the first parameter is value. The second is index and the third one is the array itself. Now let's do one more thing over here. Let's multiply these values over here. Okay. So let me just create the variable over here. Let multiply equals to one. And I will loop through these numbers over here. Numbers dot for each value equals to what I'll do is I'll do just do multiply with the value over here and let's print this console.log we'll print the value sorry I'll print the multiply so this is a simple code over here that we have used the for each function to loop through the numbers and do the multiplication of the each values available inside this array and we are printing that value so let me clear this console and let's run it again and here you can see that we are getting the value over here. So this way we can use the arrays higher order function that is for each for looping through the array rather than using the for loop. So that's it in this video for for each of arrays in Java. In the next video we will see the different higher order functions of the arrays.